Hello, this is a tutorial to show you how to use the clone stamp tool in paint.net and get rid of any residual effects after using the tool. I'm going to open up our image here. This is an image my sister-in-law took and she had something on the lens. You can see right down here there's a spot, either a piece of dirt or a piece of dust. So what we're going to do is we'll blow that up so we can get the area we're working with here and we're going to click on the clone stamp tool right there now we have to get a, a brush size that will be bigger than what we're trying to correct there so we come up to here and we come along here and look for a brush size uh, 60 will probably do it yeah 60 is going to cover that mark so if you look at the directions down here it says clone stamp tool hold control and left click to select origin so I'm going to hold the control key left click in an area that I want to clone so I'm going to clone the water right here so that it looks and matches this now when I hit this you'll see that the spot disappeared but there's some residual effect here from the clone tool it doesn't blend yet sometimes when you do this you won't need to make it blend it'll already be blended it depends upon the resolution and what you're actually cloning but to get rid of this little bit of residual uh, effect here we're going to go up to the lasso key, and we're going to lasso the actual area. Oh, let me see. I messed that up here. Let me try that again. We're going to lasso. Okay, we got the area lassoed that we're going to blend. And the way to do that, since there's no uh, healing tool in paint.net that I've ever been able to, able to find, we're going to use the blur tool, the Gaussian blur. So you come up to effects, blurs, and you pick Gaussian blur. Now you'll see that the inside the lasso tool, there's still this area here where you can see the clone tool where it marked the water. You take your arrow here and you move it. Now going back and forth, you'll see what it does. It gets darker, darker, lighter. You have to move this tool till you see that area just blend in enough to where it disappears. Looks like 55 might be good. Now let's click OK. Sometimes you need to do this more than once. The first time won't get it completely. Click up here on the rectangle tool to get out a lasso. Click here to get rid of the lasso key, and you'll see there's a little bit of effect here still. So we're going to do we're going to go ahead and do this one more time. We're going to lasso this area. We're going to come up to Gaussian blur, and we're going to try now. 55 is way too much because we got rid of most of this. Uh, right here looks to be good. Sometimes you're not going to get it 100% perfect, but nobody that didn't know that it was there would notice anything because they're not looking for it. Click the Gaussian blur, come out of the tool, and there you go. Pretty much the whole the mark is gone, and any residual effect is gone from the uh, from the clone stamp tool. And uh, like I said, you can't tell this area much from this area up here that was never touched. So from there, you just move on and you're ready to go. See ya.